like your style Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I'd run the world, I'd run the miles The way you look at me I think I'm going insane Right everybody, what is going on? Welcome back. Welcome back to another video and to day number six of my Tiger Muay Thai excursion, you could call it. My trip, my month-long trip here in Phuket in Thailand. Um, today, today's a, a Saturday. It's day number six. I, I didn't train today and that's, that's my fault. I told myself I was going to but due to procrastination and talking myself out of it, psyching myself out of it, but basically, uh, I didn't go. So today's been up and down, you know, this, this, this was a similar feeling to, to that that I felt down in Melbourne in, in August when I went down there specifically for one goal which was to trade, uh, play football, American football, for the first time and then on one of the first training days I missed it because I overthought it. I thought, no, I don't have the exact right equipment, I can't go down. It's like, no mate. The main thing is that you show up, okay, that's the main thing, as long as you show up, you can make something out of it. But that's just my, my overthinking and, and that happens sometimes and that's happened on this trip and it happened today. So I didn't end up going to training today, we did five days, Monday to Friday, I sort of locked that in yesterday and I thought, well on the weekend I, I'll, I'll do, what I, do what I want, do what I can, but basically I'm happy that I got those five days in and so today. I'm feeling disappointed right now because I didn't go to training. Sunday it's closed. Sunday is a big day. We've got UFC Auckland with Dan Hooker fighting Paul Felder and we've got uh, Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. Two. I'm going for Fury and I'm going for Hooker. Both by way of knockout. Now, I did want to discuss my injury. My Achilles tendonitis that flared up on day number three. I pushed through that day. I, I did not want to go to training. I thought, no, this is going to snap. I thought, my Achilles tendon, if I fucking push this, it's going to snap. Lo and behold, you get into the training session. It does still hurt a little bit, but because of what you're doing, because of what you're concentrating on in front of you, um, you know, the pain goes away. Now, following those two sessions on the Wednesday, I went and got some um, ice spray, which is here. You guys saw me apply it to my, my Achilles tendon. I also got some anti-inflammatory uh, medication. Now, I don't know if these are available in Australia, but what I will say, guys, is I took one. Oh yeah, by the way, I got a haircut too, so um, skin fade up to a number two with a clean shave, 250 baht, guys. That's $12.50 Australian. This woman in a barber shop is a woman. She took an hour to do my hair plus another 20 minutes to do my neck, my, sh my, 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 my face, and charged me 250 baht. I thought, holy shit, man, this is the place. That would cost over 50 bucks in Australia, absolutely, any day of the week. She took so much meticulous care with my hair and my beard. So, because of that, I gave her a tip, which is what you'll find yourself doing. If you feel like you get a, re a really good service, whether it be food or, you know, a massage or haircut or even just buying something in a shop if you get great service plus it's really really well priced you'll you know quite often give a tip it's completely up to you it's not expected but you can so I did in this case so we are cleaned up all ready for Monday morning and straight into it eight o'clock in the morning with a new week of Muay Thai so I'm pumped for that but but what I was gonna say is that these anti-inflammatory drugs you know, I was expecting them to give me a box of ibuprofen and, and if you're taking that stuff, I, you know, you can take six, eight per day. The pharmacist gave me these, they said one per day with food and they were quite strict on that and I thought one per day, one anti-inflammatory pill per day, are you serious? And luckily I only took one and that's all it needed because I tell you what, as of right now, my problematic Achilles tendon feels brand new. So I took one of those pills, I used this probably about 10 times throughout the day, it's nearly all gone, and lo and behold, the next day my Achilles tendon felt great. So, so not only did the, the pharmacist help me out, and that's a recommendation I got before coming here, 
doesn't matter if you're sick, in the stomach, you've got a headache, you've got a physical injury, walk into the chemist or the pharmacy on Soy Taid, which is probably about 500 meters away from Tiger. Walk in there, tell them what your problem is. They do speak English and they'll help you out. You know what I mean? And that's what I did. I said, look, my Achilles tendon is killing me. I want to keep training. What can I do? I actually asked for an ice pack. They gave me the spray instead, plus these. So 24 hours later, I'm, I'm really glad that I pushed through those two sessions because if I, had have, if I hadn't have trained and felt what it was like at the end of the training, because it was actually really bad, I probably would never have gone to the pharmacy and I may still be struggling with the effects of that. So, you know, not only did I get two extra sessions done on a sore Achilles, the next day it was completely gone and I was like, that's a fucking miracle. Anyways, um, injuries. Yes, that one's gone. I do have another injury which is not your normal injury, I will say. It's one that I've had once before. And I believe it's because I've got a very, very bony tailbone. Okay, it must stick out or something. I'm not sure. Or maybe I just haven't conditioned it because I haven't done much ab work. But basically, if I push through when I'm doing sit-ups past the point of, of pain, and just keep going and going and going. What happens is, you know, once I lose the strength in my core, I end up just like falling backwards and then really having to use like my arms and my legs to, 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 to get that, um, that force to, to bring myself back up for another, another sit up. Now, back in, uh, back in November, I challenged myself. I thought, okay, I'm gonna do, two, I'm gonna do 200 sit ups per day for a month, right? I did it on day number one, got through it, it was, it was the, one of the hardest things I've ever done. Okay, my abs were sore for a week, but that wasn't the problem. I went to go and do it the second day. I sat down, I leaned back, and I could not even do it. What had happened was a massive graze had developed at the top of my tailbone. And that's because of the way that I was you know, slamming back into the ground, pulling myself up, slamming into the ground, pulling myself up. And obviously the way that my shorts rubbed on my tailbone created this massive graze. And uh, that took about a week to heal, if not two weeks. Now what's happened is we did 50 sit-ups. And I was already so tired from the, from the training beforehand. This was probably at the end of the session. We did 50 sit-ups with a partner. I couldn't stop. I had to keep going. By the end of it, I thought, yeah, that's okay. You know, it wasn't too bad. Okay, I jump in the shower when I get home. I've done it again. I've done it again. I've grazed my fucking tailbone on the opposite side that it happened last time. So I don't know what, what's up with my fucking tailbone. I don't know what... Uh, I don't know what happened. Anyways, I can't do more than 50 sit-ups at the moment without grazing my tailbone. So what happens, it's, a, it's an open cut and you know, until it closes and, and heals over properly. It's not the nicest thing to imagine, but it is the injury that I'm working with right now. So if they say we're doing sit-ups, <laughs> um, which they have done since I've had the injury, I still do them, but <laughs> I do them on one ass cheek, okay? Literally, I'm, I'm having to come up on an angle. You know, they're probably looking at me like, what the fuck are you doing? But hey, I'm injured. Anyway, it's not gonna slow me down with any stand-up stuff, any push-ups, you know, cardio, fitness work. Uh, things like that, it's not going to stop me, so that's okay. What else have we got to talk about? I did have a bit of a list here. Right, I found my favorite healthy eating restaurant here on Soy Taid. You know, I wouldn't be going there every night, but there have been times in this trip and, and plenty of times in the past when I've traveled Southeast Asia, especially when I was training, you know, hard in the gym, over 100 kgs, trying to maintain my muscle mass. It's very hard to find big portions of protein or quality protein without, you know, being in a, a curry or, uh, you know, it might be covered in some sort of sauce or something like that. Look, if you want just clean protein and actual good sized, I mean, if you buy a chicken breast in some places, it could be fucking tiny. I don't know what they feed these chickens or, you know, <laughs> in fact, maybe these are normal chicken size and we get chicken breasts that are so huge back in Australia because they're all pumped up with hormones. But regardless of all that, there's a place on Soy Taid, which is the street that all the, um, the Muay Thai camps are on. And uh, it's called Ali's Barbecue. It's right at the end of the street. You'd have to go past pretty much every single other shop and restaurant and, and uh, you know, accommodation 
to find this place. It's called Ali's Barbecue. They cook your meat on site to order. And so when it comes to getting you know, extra protein in your diet, you can order things like a boiled egg or a fried egg. You can order things like a chicken thigh or a chicken breast. For the last couple of nights, I've, I've eaten probably one or two meals throughout the day. I felt like at the end of the day, shit, I probably haven't you know, had enough protein. Um, I'm looking to get at least 100 grams a day here, probably 150 if not 200. So last couple of nights, I've come to the end of the night. I haven't really had that much protein. I've gone to Ali's Barbecue. I've ordered two chicken breasts. They're 60 baht each. That's $3. They come out grilled to perfection. They're absolutely beautiful. A little bit of salad on the side and you've got yourself like 100 grams of protein, just like that, for $6, with a bit of salad. So that, my friends, is my way of upping my protein intake per day whilst staying here near Tiger. Now normally, I probably would have, I guess, a protein shake. I was gonna buy a tub of protein powder, which I may still do, but I'd much rather eat food. And if I can get chicken breasts cooked like that, for that price, with you know no frills that's what I wanted you know when you want protein you just want protein when you're fucking training in the gym and you know how important protein is to, to muscle uh, maintenance which is what I'm doing whilst I'm here you want that protein and you don't you don't want it covered in sauces and, and in a big salad or in a big fucking pasta meal or something like that you just want the protein right there and that's what you get at Ali's barbecue so that is my recommendation and I'd have to say that that would be about it. So that is day number six for anyone following along. We're here for a month. Today has been up and down, to be honest, mentally, because I missed that training session. And, you know, Sunday would have to be the only day that I'm going to be okay with, with not training because Tiger Muay Thai as a, as a complex is shut. So that is it, guys. As of Monday, we'll be back. I feel like I'm probably going to have my second um, private Muay Thai session on Monday. So I'll take the camera down for that. We'll discuss the winners of the two fights that are on this weekend. Um, so yeah, tomorrow's going to be a great day, man. Day off training, big coffee to start the morning, and we're straight into the UFC. And following that, we've got Wilder Fury. Fuck, oh my god, I cannot wait, guys. I've become a massive, massive fight fan over the last four years. It's slowly, slowly been building. And, and you know, I, I couldn't be more into fighting right now. Boxing, mixed martial arts, kickboxing, I'll watch it all. And, you know, I'm, I'm a super fan. I'm an absolute super fan. I watch every single press conference. I watch every single interview. And here I am, guys, in Thailand. Smack, bang in the middle of Fight Street, or Fighter Street, which is Soy Taid. That's the street that all of these fight camps are on, including Tiger. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that Taid means fighter. So Soy means street, Taid means fighter, Fighter Street, that's the street that I'm training on. All I can say is, try it out for yourself. It's pretty sweet, that street it's got to be one of the most awesome streets I've ever seen. It is just packed with fitness, food, fighting, and cheap accommodation. So with all that being said, guys, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.